Hi, Andrew. What's up? Welcome in Duffel. How are you doing? I'm pleased. I'm having a great time. Um, we've been here today seeing some friends. Um, every, it's kind of just a nice kind of cute vibe festival here and, you know, just kind of getting the lay of the land right now. Yeah, it's one of your first stops on European mainland. It's mm -hmm. had, it has been a while mm -hmm. because you, you canceled the tour at yeah. the beginning of this year. H how excited are you for the, for the European tour? Uh, pretty excited. I mean, we came here um, for some festivals one or two months ago, but just for like a weekend. But yeah, you're right. Like this is kind of now we're kind of starting the main part of our the mainland Europe tour. And uh, it's it's fun for us. Like there's going to be some festivals like this one, Brack Rock, which is more on the punk side of things. A lot of like a few, whole, like a good handful of them. And then there's like a few like really metal festivals. So it's fun for us. Just like we're kind of in between, you know, yeah. we're just kind of we like playing with tons of different kinds of bands. So yeah, it's like it's like a whole community. These these. Yeah, the like Flatliners are here. They live in the same city as me in Toronto. Most of them do. So we like opened up the curtain so we'd have a mega room. <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> Yeah. Uh, you're here with a new album, Heavy Steps. Congratulations. Thank you. How are your reactions of the fans uh, till now? You know, it's, I don't know, it's just like we're, we're kind of um, making our way through each territory now. And it, to me, it feels like it's a moment for the band, like a good, like a really good moment. And it feels like there's a lot of new life and energy. I also think that post COVID, um, you know, a lot of people are really excited right now. We didn't really like take too much of a break during the pandemic. We we were planning on writing and recording that record and that kind of took about the time that we needed. And then so like we were kind of able to like hit the ground running as, as soon as the music was out and we could start playing shows right away. And we're playing like, you know, we play with three or four new songs live and those are some of the most exciting ones to play like for me right now. So that's a good sign. Um, did you pay more attention to any aspects of the album than you did with, with other albums? This one was a different one to make. We had a lot of songs going into it to record and we recorded at home, like, or not home, but like our hometown where we originally came from, um, Winnipeg. So it was kind of a self-produced record, but like, it was funny, um, pretty much like a few days into recording, we were like, we are not going to have time to finish all these songs in this amount of time. So we ended up like renting the studio beside the stu So we, we'd have two studios going at the same time. And pretty much just kind of like, I guess main, maybe the main difference was just the vocals we just did and it took a totally different approach. And I had the Pro Tools, like the screen, the, uh, the recording rig kind of in my room so I could edit the vocals as we went with the engineer there while people are recording and like guitars or you know bass in the other room so it was a little disjointed like that but we just had to like really I just we just really had to like trust ourselves and I don't feel like there was like as much guidance sometimes it's nice to have that north star like that guidance when you're in the studio and we just kind of had to like trust ourselves and you know I mean we ended up having more songs than we needed so we were able to like pick and choose maybe the songs that didn't hit as hard as some of the others so I was happy the artwork and the the lyrics and the music kind of all worked better than I think some of our efforts in the past <laughs> as a band comeback it has been around for more like 20 years I guess yeah. um, it's not that typical for a melodic hardcore band to been around for that long I guess yeah. I don't know if I'm if I'm wrong but uh, what's your secrets to keep it fresh that long we just really, really love doing the music and feel really passionate about it. Um, and we've kind of just kind of made that choice, I think, a lot of us. Um, and uh, it's still, I don't know, it still feels like fresh to me and it still feels like pretty hype to me, like to be able like to play cool festivals and playing with like new up and coming bands. I, you know, we're not the kind of, we, we can, can be like des described as like older band for sure, but like we try not to get like stuck in that like dinosaur mentality and we try to like take out a lot of like newer, younger bands and we are into like newer music as well. So I think it's, it's important just to kind of like, it's, it's easy when you get older to kind of like lose, lose touch of some of that stuff, but I, we make a conscious effort, at least I do, to like just kind of like. Yeah, like, I don't know, we're still really into the, the scene and the music and, and the community, so. Yeah, when the passion is still around, it's, it's, it's easy or something. We just don't want to fall into the same old, same old, yeah. So we're, we're, you know, we're definitely trying to, yeah, 
keep it fresh. Cool. What do you expect for the show um, at Brackrock tonight? It's like there's like a, a bush in front of the stage that will act as like a natural barricade or something. So it's we're gonna have to get creative, I think, on how how we interact with the crowd. I saw some people like climbing on the bush and stuff like that, but we'll see how we go. Oh, so there's a bush for there's people a not to get over it. It's a stage, and then it's a bush, and then there's the crowd. So. I just kind of like I, I'm always up for a challenge, so we'll see how it goes. All right, we're looking forward to it. Thank you very much yeah. for this chat. Cheers, it's all jokes. Really, music matters.